are headed back to work on Tuesday morning after our road trip that contained our street beefs fight. We got a fight this coming weekend. I just talked to the promoter this morning and he's had to shuffle opponents around on me. So I'm moving up from 165 to fight a 176er this coming weekend in New York, which should be a lot of fun. Uh, I can't get too picked though, because I got another fight that following weekend back at 165. So I'm talking to the promoter right now about how small I'm able to be. I think I can just be 166 and that'll be fine. Should be a lot of fun. Uh, to quote the great Harry Grab, big guys just get in their own way. It should be a lot of fun. canceled late last night. Uh, they couldn't find an opponent for me after jumping up and down and all around weight classes all week. Um, we paid for this hotel. We came here. It's near where we have family and uh, church folks and obligations. So I want to get a workout in this morning anyway, even though I don't feel very good. <laughs> Food is fuel. If you eat a bunch of crap, even though you got the calories, you feel like crap. Things shut more around in amateur fights. I'm gonna eat a little bit of food and enjoy myself, but they got a guy for me at light heavyweight in the last minute. I'll take it. We got a Shots versus Saratoga matchup here. I like both of those teams. The kid looks great, and he's fighting two weight classes up. The kid looks great. I'm having so much fun. I haven't been to an event where I wasn't coaching or fighting in years, so this is awesome. Just finished up my last rounds doing defense drills before my fight on Saturday. The matchmaker told me I'm fighting an experienced fighter from Venezuela who's coming up. Uh, usually, uh, <laughs> those South and Central American countries are game and fit and work the body and pressure. So I don't know if he fits that bill, but either way, I'm excited to get a different look and excited to mix it up with the man. Let's go, Jason. We're joking with him at the gym. We were like, well, you can't eat chicken and fish. You know why? 
chicken and fish, they're small. You eat small, you're gonna be small. You gotta eat steak. <laughs> a cow is huge. Look at how big a cow is. You gotta eat big to get big. Right shoulder feels astonishingly better. We survived nice. another one. This is why the fighting's easy, because Kim stabs me right before it. <laughs> This line's long and moves really slow, and I'm hungry. It's probably about the same size as ours, though. Really? So, like, you'll be pretty familiar with that. I'll bet you that's an 18 foot yeah. ring. Maybe. Oh, I'll wait in. I need some water. Uh, I'm the main event, and these guys are fighting really early in the night. They're gonna be like Sweet. about three and five or something like that. So, we'll have lots of like time, which is good. Blessed. <laughs> yeah, let's go, man. I'm, dude, I'm, I'm, now actually, dude, I'm so excited. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, don't Boy, you, you know. Yeah. Don't eat like crazy. Remember, you gotta fight in like yeah. an hour and change. Gotcha. Eat accordingly. Gotcha. Okay. Yes. Yeah. My wonderful wife made me my usual pre-fight snack. Tell tell her in the comments how well she did. It's so bad, guys. It's so bad. <laughs>
Let's roll. Do what you do, boy. <laughs> Right. Word. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. How you doing, Rock? Good to see you. All right, I'm gonna hop down. All right. You got this. Do what you do. All right. I saw him warming up and he looked like a puncher, so I wanted to stay moving and keep his powerful hands busy defensively. So we started the fight probing with the jab and looking for low risk shots. I started building off of the jab. When he pulled away, I'd land a long right hand, and when he tried to get under it, I'd catch him with the six. Anticipating him being a powerful puncher, I used a variety of defenses as we passed through his cross lane. I was very aware of the threat. I walked when it was appropriate and I tried to pepper him with lots of little shots. I didn't want to let him rally. I wanted to make him feel like he was drowning so the fight would be easier late. You can see me having some fun here. As I pressured him, his punch selection and his rhythm became a lot more predictable, allowing for some cool moments. This jab was meant to blind him as I leapt in, so I wouldn't eat a right hand counter while I was airborne. I spent the last 10 seconds of this round trying to bait a right hand so I could finish with a big liver shot, but he never threw it. You look great. Gathering your feet just a little bit, but it, just, looks, it looks beautiful. His feet are worse than mine, so yep. I'm just walking them down. Yep. It looks really good. Yeah, just I feel keep fine. doing that. Yep. He never has his feet under him yeah. when he throws that right hand. Yep. So Make sure you're breathing when, you, when you're punching, even though he's cool. not working your body, so it doesn't remind yeah. you. Just breathe. You gotta work the body a little bit this round. Okay. See if I can slow him down for Watch the third. hand. Watch the hand. That's I all. I never throw a hard punch. Hands feel nice. fine. Nice. Sweet. Nice job. Keep doing that. I got delicate hands. I know. <laughs> He adjusted in the second round by leading me with his punches, but at this point I had such a beat on him that he didn't get as much traction out of it as I'm sure he was hoping.
Knocked out his mouth guard, which let him get a break. Like and subscribe, let's go. Knocked out his mouth guard a second time, giving him an additional break. He's tired, but why keep spitting it out? I would have been happy to outbox him to a boring decision, but you can see he takes a stab at my liver here, and I decide the safest path forward is to try to disincentivize any more Hill Mary shots, so I give him a push until we get the count. You can tell he never really recovered from the count, and you can see I'm landing a variety of right hands on him at will, even as the bell rings. He spits out his mouth guard a third time, and as I turn from him, I say, call it ref, to the referee, and he obliges. Officials are saying nice things to me. They say I got a great style. They say that was a master class. That means a lot to me. Uh, I would tell them a coach has to be able to do the thing he asks his students to do. You know? So that was a ton of fun. Yep. Um, I hope you guys <laughs> learned something. I hope this fight vlog's awesome. Let's go. Yeah. Alright. What was that squeaking noise? This? What happened? I don't know. Hey. Why you making all that noise, homie? <laughs> I gotta have a little fun if I'm not fighting. Oh my goodness. 
This is the worst. I'm not paying you. I want you to move your eyes around.